guys, this is Rubik's Cuber 88 here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to solve the 4x4, like a 3x3. I know it sounds weird, but let's get right into it. So, um, once you have solved all of your centers on your 4x4 and all the edges are paired on the 4x4, you will solve the cube like exactly like a 3x3 with a white cross, uh, the first layer, and then the second layer, and then uh, hopefully not parity. So, let's get right into it. So... Um, first is the white cross, so I have the white side on top, and here is a white corner, white edge. It's white and blue, so we're going to turn it to the bottom layer, and this is all stuff that I went over, so you guys should be able to get the white cross at least. So I'm just going to quickly just build out the white cross, so this white, so the white has a matchup on the white with the blue. Um, here's one white and green, so on the outside we'll rotate it up, white and Red, it's already on that side, and one more. Um, orange, if it's f flipped around like this, we do out of the way, over, up, and back. So, yeah, you guys should already know how to solve the um, white cross, and here's what the white cross looks like on the 4x4. So, now we'll get onto the corners. Once again, go check out my tutorial on, on how to solve the first layer of the 3x3. So, just find a white corner and this side's orange, so we're going to put it on the orange side. Match up with the corner, so I, that needs to go there. So we move it away, bring it down, place it in, and lift it up. And we have a white and a red. So we'll put it on the red side. We move it away, bring it down, place it in, and lift it up. And we have another one. Um, here's one right here. Uh, it's already on the orange side. So we move it away, bring it down, place it in, lift it up. And the last one is on the bottom. So once again, if it's on the bottom, then put it underneath uh, an empty spot or a piece where there's no white. So we turn the right, turn the downside twice, and then we'll take this back up. So we put it on the red side right here. So we move it away, bring it down, place it in, and lift it up. We have all the white and this first layer. Now onto the second layer. So now with the second layer, once again, we're going to have the white on the bottom, and we're going to find a one of these with no yellow. So here's one with no yellow, orange, and blue. And you're going to match up with its side. And since that this top color is here, we're going to move it away. So move it away from the top color. Do L prime, U prime, L, and then do a U, and then turn it. So, so the white's on the right, do R, U, R prime. And that places this one in. Um, here's one with no yellow. It's orange and green. Match it up with the green side. Since the orange is on this side this time, we're going to move it away, do R, U, R prime, then do U prime, then turn it, so it's white is facing left, to L prime, U prime, L, and that place is that in. Here's another one with no yellow, it's red and green, we're going to match it on the green sides, and since the red is to the left, we're going to move it away, and do L prime, U prime, L, and then we'll do U, and then R, U, R prime. And I'm sorry that I'm kind of going through this fast, but you guys should have already know how to solve a 3x3. Three three. So here's the last one, match up with the blue side. And since this red side is on the right, we're going to move it away, do R, U, R prime, do U prime, and then turn it. So this white piece is on the left, do L prime, U prime, L. And with that, we have solved the first three layers on the 4x4. Four four. Now here's a parity. If you have solved your first three layers, all these layers are the same color, and you have something like this, where these two edges are flipped around. Hold the flipped around edges in the front. And then here's the first parity algorithm. It's called the yellow cross parity. It goes like this. So hold the flipped around yellow edges in the front. And then do lowercase r prime u2 lowercase l f2 lowercase l prime f2 lowercase r2 u2 lowercase r u2 lowercase r prime u2 f2 lowercase r2, f2. And now we have the yellow cross. So once again, with the yellow cross, if you have two that are 
just like this, hold this so they're facing you, do soon, which is R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. Now we have the fish, we're going to hold the soft corner in the bottom left, and then do R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. And once again, for this, um, go back to how to solve the last layer of the 3x3 three three on my channel. Once again, hold this in the bottom left, do soon, R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. It solves the yellow side. Now we're going to look for headlights. We have headlights on every side. We're going to match it the headlights up on their own sides. Um, so here, uh, we're just going to hold it. So one of these is going to the right. And then do this algorithm. We're going to go the R2, U, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, U prime, R prime, U, R prime. Now we have parity. If you have parity, where you have one solved side facing you and one solved side to the left. So, it, so if two solved sides that are directly next to each other, adjacent, just like this, you're going to do this algorithm. Capital U and lowercase u, two times. So these top two layers, two times. Capital R and lowercase r, two times. So these two right layers, two times. U, two. Lowercase r, two. U2, capital and lowercase r2, and then capital U and lowercase u2. Now, uh, as you can see, hold a solve side in the back, and then we're going to do this alg. Once again, r2, u, r, u, r prime, u prime, r prime, u prime, r prime, u r prime. And once again, we'll do it again. r2, u, r, u, r prime, u prime, r prime, u prime, r prime, u r prime. And you're done solving the 4x4 rubik's cube you have solved it um that this video went by kind of fast because you should already know how to solve a three by three if you're solving the four by four so yes that's all guys that's how to solve the four by four rubik's cube thank you for watching please like subscribe stay tuned for the next video and uh i will see you in the next video bye bye